Meantime, new at 6 tonight, a major development and an emotionally devastating hit and run case in Montgomery County today. At the same time, police there are asking for tips to help them solve a second hit and run tragedy. So police believe both cases in Wheaton and Silver Spring involve white Acura sedans. But despite the similarities, today officers announced those cases are not related. Here's Scott Broom. Montgomery County police say this morning they found the car, but not the driver that they believe killed 52 year old Ron Franzese, who was walking on the sidewalk near his home on Randolph Road Friday evening. Here's police captain Warren Jensen. This morning, uh, collision reconstruction unit members actually went out and located the vehicle. Uh, I don't have any information on the driver or anything yet. We're literally working on that as we speak. Police did not reveal what led them to the car or where it was found, but it was a white Acura TL sedan, just like the one police tweeted that they're looking for in a second hit and run case that happened here on Veers Mill Road early Monday, sparking questions and speculation. Could it be the same driver? Today, police said no. They were involving very similar cars, so I, we, we understand why some of the uh, inferences were drawn, but they are not one and the same which leaves the family of skateboarder 26 year old Jacques Price devastated because while there's been a breakthrough in the Randolph Road hit and run that happened Friday, the tragedy that took Price's life here on Veers Mill Road early Monday remains a mystery. Marcus Glivings is Price's father. He was um, you know, one of the best sons you could have. I was very proud of him, uh, still am. And just uh, trying to process everything. We just won justice to be served and find the person that did this. So the hunt for another white Acura TL sedan in the case here on Veers Mill is still on and police have not identified a driver to charge in either of these apparently unrelated hit and run tragedies. In Montgomery County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.